Editing Emily here. I just want to say, um, throughout the video, you can hear my mum in the background just on the phone and making some food. So just ignore that. Hi, it's me, and yeah, well, this is my first video. Wow. Oh. How do people do it? It's like, I feel so like... Mm. As you would have seen, we are doing a 50 facts about me. Just like the, um, I swear this was like, this was like a big trend, like years ago, I think. I don't know, but we're doing it. Cause you know, you can get to know me. I've got them all in my little like notebook here. What is this? Let's just get started. Number one. My full name is Emily Olivia Bardsley. Simple. Excuse me. Yes, that's what I thought. Get off your phone. Number two. I am 14 years old and my date of birth is the 27th of February 2004 I was born, I was born on a leap year that's not one of them I just remembered that imagine being born on a leap year if I was born on a leap year I'd be like five number three my star sign is Pisces which is cool because it's a little it's like the picture is fish like going round each other and I like I like the seaside, so fish, seaside, yeah. Number three, I am five foot four, five five. I don't know. The thing is, we measured me and I was five foot five. Then measure me again, I was five foot four. I think I shrunk. Let's just say I'm five foot four. Number five, I have size six feet. Pretty simple. Number six, I have two brothers. Um, they're called Hugo and Sebastian. Hugo is 16, Sebastian is 11. Number seven, I am the middle child, which kind of, you would have worked that out. Uh, that's number seven. Number eight, I have, at the moment I have three pets. I have a guinea pig called Bob and two cats called Mella and Star. Number nine, I am a quarter Norwegian, which is cool. I love the Norwegian flag. It's very nice. Um, I can try and set a picture. Number 10. Okay, so when I was like 10, 11, I was obsessed with Bin Weevils. If you know what Bin Weevils is, you are amazing. Because Bin Weevils, I played it the other day. The other day, I mean like months ago. But it was just so fun. I don't know. Bin Weevils is so fun. I have a full on book of Bin Weevils cards that I used to collect like years ago. And Bin Weevils was just. I wasn't like a club penguin person or I don't know, Moshi Monsters. What even else is there? Superstar Planet. I don't know what else there is. But I was a Bin Weevils person and so were like the other girls in my class. There were five girls in my class. I had a small class. Number 11. That doesn't sound right when you say like number 11. 11. I am British. Simple. British. Number 12. I was born by Caesarean, which, if you don't know what that is, it is not kind of like the natural way to be born. It's like. It's like. Basically, they like cut you open and get out the baby rather than just like you doing it. And so did my brothers. 13, I play, I mean, I've played so many instruments, it, instruments, but at the moment I play the guitar and the ukulele. That's kind of what I'm focused on. Number 14, I am a performer. I am a triple threat. I dance, sing and act. Um, yeah. 15, I have been dancing since I was two started with ballet then kind of went on to like modern and tap that's where I, I focus on ballet tap and modern and then I do other things like I know street hip-hop and like 
the other saying is. 16, I love art. Like, after performing, my favourite thing is art. Like, I love, I just love it. And I was always going to do art GCC, but I'm going to a new school and uh, they haven't given me art. They've given me textiles. Not very happy about that one. I'll show you some art I brought. I brought my bit. You know what? Let's just do the thing. Perfect. Wait, there is one in here actually that I started the other day. Yeah, I started that but didn't finish it because I couldn't be bothered. I love drawing faces at the moment, like I'm trying to get used to that. Oh, I had two others and they were really good and I thought they were here. It's fine, we don't have to look at them. Because this one is like the kind of the first time I proper tried to draw a face and I still think it's probably one of... One of um, my best ones. It's probably because I took like so long on it. I want to see that you can definitely see this. Do you see that? That is good in it. That's my friend. I always try to draw my friends. That's not very good, is it? No, no. 17. I have been doing the Hackney Empire pantomime since I was... I was 10 um and that is okay so the sixth year is coming up now of doing it and I hope I can do it this year because I might not be able to but hoping I can 18 in 2015 I well in 2015 to 16 I performed in Billy Elliot the musical in London in the West End I was the last cast because in London it like finished, ended. Now it's Hamilton. Thanks. Stealing our theatre. Jokes. Um, I never say that. Why did I just say that? A little story. My dad was in it for the whole 10 years and I. He did the workshop for it before it was finished. Before it's finished? Before it started and I was a baby inside of my mum and he started that and we always went to see him and I was like, because uh, I was, uh, if you've seen the show, you'll know what I mean when I say I was a ballet girl, but I was, I was a named character, my name was Karen Davidson, um, but like basically I was one of the kids that like pretty much run the show, we're in it pretty much non-stop, we're in all the big scenes. Um, and I was, I said I want to be a ballet girl and then I auditioned quite a long process and I got it, I got in and it was honestly like the best experience ever. 19, when I was 11, I think I just turned 11 because it was after my first year of panto, I was in an advert which you can search it on YouTube, I think. I searched, because it, it was a Clark's advert. It was Clark's advert 2014. 2014 Clark's advert, the best school trip ever. That's what it was called, the best school trip ever. And I was a astronaut in it. I can try and search a picture. If I can, I will do it. 20, when I was in Billy Elliot, my team and another team performed in Anton Deck's Saturday Night Takeaway and that was amazing. We had loads of rehearsals, we had to change parts of it, like we had to do the end of the show show. We met Anton Deck, we had met Little Ant and Little Deck, they're so cute. And that was amazing and fun. I was on TV again, whoa, but that was great. 21, I was born and raised in London. East London more specifically. 22. It's just a school. I don't know what I'm meant to say because I like wrote my notes. I um, I honestly don't know what I'm meant to say. It's just a school. <laughs> school. 
I'm going into year 10 because I'm filming this like right at the end of my summer holiday. I don't know when I'm gonna upload it, but I'm going into year 10. I've just finished year nine. And honestly, like when I started my secondary school in year seven, I didn't know anyone, but year seven and year eight, I'd say were the funnest years ever of secondary school. They're amazing, they're so fun. Year nine is a bit like, ugh, because <laughs> It just gets really, it just gets ser more serious because, you know, GCSEs and all that. But this leads on to 23. I'm about to go to my fourth school. So I started off in a little kind of nursery type school, which I was there for years. And then I went to my primary school for three years. Gosh, it feels like more than three years. Then I went to my secondary school for three years again. And now I'm about to go to the Brit School, which is amazing. I'm doing performing arts and it's going to be so fun. It starts in year 10, but I'm hoping to do four years there. I'll stay like I'll stay through sixth form and yeah, so going to my fourth school, going to the Brit School, and it's gonna be great. 24. I am on Musically or TikTok, it's now called TikTok why i don't know but i started i mean started i've done it since like i started secondary school so that's like 2015. i've stayed on it a lot and i grew bigger on it and i think i have 34k at the moment but it's like so amazing and i have so many lovely fans on it and <sighs> they're very lovely and yeah i've been doing that for like three years that seems like too much it probably was everything's for three years which leads me on to 25 which is my online friends i have so many online friends and they are amazing and we always meet every year at summer in the city a big uk online event in the london excel center um this year it was on the 12th of august last year it was on like the 5th or 6th i don't know but it was Oh, it's always amazing and we all meet and we're all so close and such good friends we always house party which if only one uses that app anymore but it's great until we get the new ios update where we can do group facetime calls i'm looking forward to that i hope that's a thing like what if it's a lie but yeah that's i love all my online friends so much 26 i was born and raised as a vegetarian or pescatarian you might call it which if you don't know what a pescatarian is it's you're a vegetarian but you eat fish my mum's outside i hate the term when people say offer me something and like some form of like meat and i go oh no you can't eat it it's like the thing is we can eat it it's more of a choice it's like if i wanted to go in if i wanted to try some i don't know meat like some chicken i like i will like it's not like my mum would be like you're not allowed to like chew at me so it's all cool. Yeah, yeah. 27. My family mainly live in Cornwall and Lancashire. And we visit Cornwall yearly and see our family down there, which is great. And I love it. And love it. And I miss them. Saw them in Easter. We didn't go this summer, which is weird. But yeah. Um, my dad's just gone to Lancashire. See his mum. But he's also, I don't know, having like a costume fitting for this like series. I don't know. 28. I have got, I mean, like, not many phobias, but a strange one. My strange phobia is tripophobia, and people are like, is that a phobia of tripe? I'm like, no, it is a phobia of, like, little holes. Like, it's like, okay, I can't find a hole anywhere. Okay, so, like, these little holes in this cushion, it's like, that's fine. I don't, I'm not afraid of that. But it's like, I don't know, there's pictures of some things where they're just, like, loads of little holes together and it's just like <laughs> so, oh, I don't like it, I'm getting like shivers but yeah that is like a uh, weird phobia of mine 29, my hair is blonde, naturally blonde um, but when I was born it was like pitch black when I was born my hair, my hair was this colour, it was black and then it just got brighter and brighter now it's blonde. 30. When I was little, I had a thing with cutting my own hair. The thing is, I wouldn't like try to give myself like a nice new like haircut. I would just get scissors and just go, huh, 
and then I have some short thing of hair and like my mum would find just clumps of hair on the floor. She'd be like, Emily, you cut your hair again? I'd be like, no. I was so shy when I was ill. Once when my mum picked me up from like my first school, they said, um, she cut her hair. Why would I just always cut it? Like, because I'm such a hairstylist. 31. Okay, I don't know how I'm meant to like show this because I'm filming on my phone because this is the first video, I mean, I don't have a camera, but I don't even know where it is, but you might, oh, I can feel it, it's here. If you just like look here, if I like, I don't know, if you can see, I have a dent in my head, like around here somewhere. Um, and that is cause when I was really little and like, you know, like your skull is still like moldable, like it's still quite soft. I fell on the edge of a box and dented my head and then it got, and then it hardened like that. And now I have a dent in my head permanently great 32 quite obvious i have blonde hair and blue eyes i don't even know what color my eye is i don't know if you can see that light is blinding me but they're like bluey greeny gray i don't know 33 i do not like and have never liked any type of fruit like i just don't like fruit it's not nice Thing is, I wish I liked fruit. I really wish I liked it, but every time I try it, it's just this, it's the same taste in all fruit that I don't like. I don't know what it is. I just don't like it. I didn't like it when I was like a baby. Spat it out. Didn't like it. Don't like fruit. And I'm not the only one. I know I have friends that don't like fruit. So yeah, thirty-four. Although I don't like fruit, I do like a few fruit juices i don't like orange juice but i love apple juice but i do not like concentrated apple juice like that's the see-through one it looks like wheat and it doesn't taste nice it has to be the cloudy one cloudy apple juice i might go get up we have like these mini cartons at the moment i might go get one i'll show you some cloudy apple juice i'm just gonna go get it just went into the kitchen and my mum's making pasta bake these are the little ones we have at the moment. Oh my gosh, the top just fell and I did not do that. There's a ghost in here. <laughs> this is the apple juice I'm talking about. Like, okay, so I like this one. I mean, it doesn't have to be Tropicana, it can be any brown, but like. I love how I'm going into this much detail just about juice. Like, can you see it's cloudy? Like, oh my gosh, that was about to tip out. Risque. I do not like any form of fizzy drink. Fizzy drinks are not nice. I've tried them, tried my friends. It's just the fizziness, it's like, like in your throat and it's like, why do people like that? It's like, huh. 36, I used to hate Oreos. I used to think they were disgusting. And then through the Oreo like chocolate bar when people used to offer it to me and you know, it's chocolate. So I'd just be like, I didn't mind that chocolate bar. So I was like, okay, thanks. And then slowly I liked that more. And then one time I just tried some Oreo and now I'm in love with them. I cannot get enough of them. The best ones are the double stuffed ones. They are so nice. I love Oreos now. I don't know why I didn't use, like, I don't know why I didn't like them before. 37, I'm a self-taught gymnast. Like I teach myself like tumbling. I have a couple tumble tracks. I have like some big oval trampoline. I just teach myself flips and whatever. And then my friends, like, my friends are, like, cheerleaders and stuff, like, um, help me to, like, they helped me to do it on the ground. Oh, I do acro at dance as well, so they help me. For example, I can do a back handspring on the ground, but I'm still, I'm so scared to do it, like, I'm always so scared. I could do an aerial, but... 38. I have never had any lessons in acting or singing. I've had lessons in dance since I was two, but I've never had any lessons in acting or singing. I'm pretty much self-taught that, or like, I don't know, home taught, because like, my dad's an actor and my mum's an agent, so they help me more. But obviously, I'm going to the Brit, I'm going to have a lot more of all that, I'm going to have loads of lessons. <clears throat> but yeah, so far I've never had lessons in them, so... <laughs> 39, I've never broken a bone, ever. I've, like, not injured bones, but like, I don't know, I've hurt my ankle, like, hurt my knee, but I've never broken a bone. 
40, my favourite slash lucky number is 6. 41, I cannot go to sleep without like some kind of video or sometimes music like in the background. Like I just put like a YouTube, like a vlog or something just on in the back background. That's like, I don't know, like just, I can't like just get go to sleep in like just silent darkness. Like, I don't know, I just have to have a video on it. If I'm like, say, staying at someone's, I usually don't have to because, I don't know, I'm so tired out. But, yeah, usually I have to have some form of, like, video or sound in the background. 42. I always shop but don't buy. So, I'll go somewhere to a shop, I'll go shopping, and I'll find something. And I'll either just like it or I'll love it so much but I will never buy it, like I won't buy it. Like I bought a top the other day cause it was like, we went like for something and like with my friend and it was like, it was like revelation. I bought something. I didn't just look at it and put it back down. I bought it. There's this top that I was so angry. I didn't buy it. Um, cause I love it so much. Like, I mean, most times I don't buy things and I kind of get over it, but this, I'm not over it. I love it. It's like a cropped, sweatshirt it's from urban outfitters and oh, it's so nice 43 i've never had braces and i'm not really expecting to get them 44 i never eat medicine never when i was little again i just wouldn't take medicine like i'll take now i'll, I'll take like swallow tablets like they're fine but i will not eat medicine like 45, I love doing sport, mainly, kind of now mainly netball, I'm always in the netball team. I used to play wing defence, but I play centre now. I have some medals somewhere, they're upstairs though, I can't be bothered to go upstairs. But uh, I've, I play like, what do I play? I play tons. I play rounders, hockey. In my primary school there were so many sports teams, I was in the hockey team, I was in the swimming team. I was even in the rugby team. Rugby is fun. Rugby's great. 46. As I got excited about before, my favourite food at the moment anyway is pasta bake. I'm also in love with like some, any form of potato just because I love potatoes. It's so nice. But pasta bake at the moment, it's just an addiction. Every day I'm like, can I have pasta bake? Can we have pasta bake? And my mum's like, you have it too much. But she's making it now and it's like, Yes, gonna watch it while watching the first episode of Bake Off, which is gonna be so fun. 47, I can say I'm addicted to Nutella. I was talking to my friend about it the other day and she didn't understand how people can just like get a spoon of Nutella and eat it. I can do that all day. It's, ugh, Nutella is just so nice. 48, my left leg is longer than my right leg and this has been like confirmed and i need some like specially made soles in my shoes to make sure my arches don't fall arches in my feet arches like that bit like the bendy bit but yeah my left leg is longer than my right 49 i can wiggle my ears okay so okay i don't know if you'll be able to see but like I just remember in primary school, I was like, I asked my friend, I was like, my ears wiggling. She was like, yeah. And I was like, whoa, there's no 50. Why did I stop there? I need to think of a 50. This is 50 facts about me, not 49. number 50 is on the 28th of august i filmed 50 facts about me yes that is my 50th fact deal with it yeah okay this video kind of went well for a first one but 
yeah so <laughs> subscribe like and comment i don't know what you should comment people just say comment but it's like comment what um comment how you're feeling today how you are how are you today thank you for watching and i will see you at some point again um so mwah. bye oh, oh i'm gonna film my first youtube video for me for me break it down